Okay. I already did this tutorial once this morning, but I didn't turn the sound on, so I'm doing it again. Just going to draw a box here. Uh, let's talk about this. You know, what it makes <clears throat> by default, you know, is a 812 uh, hip roof. That's kind of what it's done. Now, for a store storefront, which is what this is all about, I'm going to change the parameters to uh, automatic roofs to quarter 12. Basically, what that does is um, creates a flat roof, but, of course, flat roofs are not flat. They, they need to drain. So that's a little bit closer. I need to change the roof material to uh, something that's like a flat roof's going to have. So we'll go back to a roof defaults and materials, roof, go over to library, and uh, I commonly just use roadway stuff. Doesn't have to be exact, this has to look like what you intend. So we'll put some black top on there. Nobody knows but you and me what the material actually is. We don't need gutters on a commonly on a flat roof, so I'm going to turn those off. And now we should have something like a flat roof, yeah, with no gutters. All right, now to get where we want to go, I'm going to split the screens here. Shift F6. And you can watch, kind of watch this as it develops. I'll click on this screen to make it the active one. Zoom in. Now, one, one other thing I probably should have done it's wasted time here. We'll go back and set the uh, overhang from 18 inches, which is to 2 inches. Okay, that's better. All right, now, we want to store front, so I'm going to click on this uh, front roof edge here. I think that's the baseline. I'm going to hit the tab key again. I made the overhang so short, it's a little bit hard to reach from there. I'm just going to jerk that back to the other side of the wall. Yeah, I'm just saying you don't want auto roofs on. That's right, I don't want auto roofs on. So you can see that uh, that's beginning to develop. I pulled this roof plane back, so now this wall can grow if I want it to. I can just hit the left click on that, hit the tab key, and drag this up. That's the wall polyline. It has move handles on it, and basically that's a storefront. Now, it's not a very pretty storefront, but it's a storefront. Uh, that's one way to do it. Another way would be uh, perhaps a little more refined would be to take this wall here and uh, I'm going to change the wall type on it from uh, regular wall to a pony wall. I'm just, siding 6 is just what I started with. You need to set it to whatever you draw with. I'm going to set the bottom to uh, stucco full, uh, excuse me, four, we're, we, we're going to stay with 6 inch. Stucco 6. The upper stucco 6, I'm going to make it uh, in siding 6. So we get a little material break. Okay. I guess these other walls over here, I probably ought to change the stucco to keep this nice and neat. We'll change those from siding 6 to stucco 6. Yeah, I like that. Now, a poly, uh, pony wall, if you've never worked with one, uh, it actually just creates a wall that are two walls that are stacked one on the other, and each has its own polyline. I'm hitting, I'm left clicking and then hitting the tab key, left clicking, hit the tab key to get the separate polylines. We'll just pull this this one up here. Whoops, yeah, like that. That's basically how I got to where I, what I showed you. And this uh, these wall polylines, especially the upper one, are malleable. You can take this little break tool here and break that upper line, you know, and, and make it fancier if you wanted to. Uh, to. If you decide that's not a good idea, you can just open the dialog box and go over here to the structure tab and then check uh, default wall top height, and then it'll undo what I just did. And it took it back to where it's, its original height. So I'm going to left click. And, oh. Somehow that made that into a, uh, that undid my, well, it seemed like a, oh, I see. No, it's kind of vanished. I don't see the uh, siding six part anymore. I'm going to hit control Z. All right. Control Z's undo. Anyway, that's 
that's how I basically arrived there. You could put a soffit up here. Uh, you could put uh, a slab, a custom slab up here. Uh, I prefer walls. I prefer getting the job done. I don't care how, how you do it as long as it gets done and, the, and you're pleased with it, well, then that's correct. But that's basically the tutorial and what I wanted to show you. If you want to get fancier than that, then I have to have more data to get fancy with. Okay, thank you.